Hey everyone, welcome to episode 8, I think, yes, 8. Um, first of all, I am super excited right now because I started a makeup Instagram and a celebrity makeup artist liked one of my videos and I am just like super excited right now so I might seem kind of hyper and like you know a little you know kind of crazy so I'm really excited about that um today I went with like a green and gold light kind of smoky eye of course I did my winged eyeliner and I did a little bit of a lighter uh, lipstick just for a little bit of contrast and I also just bought this lipstick yesterday and I wanted to try it out. Excuse my messy mom bun hair. I really didn't feel like doing it today and so I was like whatever. People may still watch it anyways. I don't really think that they're looking at my hair. I think they might be just listening to what I'm saying. Um, my last video wasn't too popular about friends. I guess maybe it was kind of boring. So I won't be talking about friends anymore. I think that everybody really likes the topics about where I'm kind of babbling on about random stuff or kind of like the informational, like the breastfeeding video was very popular, which I can understand because there's a lot of breastfeeding moms and a lot of moms that, you know, want to be educated on that. Um, so... I guess today we're just going to talk about whatever I feel like talking about. Um, the first thing that I want to say is um, we had a death in the family today, so I want to just say that if everybody can pray for our family um, and, you know, just that she will rest in peace, she's not suffering anymore, and, you know, it just really sucks. Um, I know my husband is going to be very upset. And I kind of talked about it a little bit. I'm not going to get into it because it's not really something that we should be, you know, putting on the internet. But I do want to just say if everybody can please say a prayer for our family, I really appreciate it. Um, it would really mean a lot to us. And, you know, I, I don't want to like get into churchy kind of stuff here or politics or anything like that because that always causes big arguments and this and that but yes I do believe in God and yes I do pray before I go to sleep every night and yes please pray for our family so let's skip that now um, I'm seriously so excited about this um, makeup artist liking my video I don't have that many posts up if you guys want to check it out I'll put the link down below it is called makeup by talk with k and k is just k-a-y not the letter k um a lot of people call me k or kk even though my name's kayla so a lot of times i usually just put k um my mom calls me kk it's like a it's just like her thing her and my brother call me that um, a lot of people actually um, from California do so when I moved here it was a little bit weird because everybody was calling me Kayla and I wasn't really used to it um, you know so if you hear me referring to myself as Kay it's just I, I'm just used to it um, my husband's working right now it's really late my son is sleeping and you know I just felt like why not make a video I was bored and I just, you know, felt like I didn't do one earlier today, so I'm going to do one now. Maybe I'll even do two. You guys might get lucky tonight. You'll get to see my face twice. I'm totally joking. I'm really not that vain and conceited. Um, I do want to talk about photography a little bit because um, my job is actually, I'm a photographer. So, <clears throat> you know, I know you've heard me mention it a little bit here and there. Um, I started this year and I really love it. Um, last month wasn't very busy because I had a lot going on. I had to go testify at this trial and it was just, 
had a lot going on so I wasn't really pursuing it as much as I should have but now I'm back and I'm doing the best that I can and um, getting those sessions booked you know with photography you want to kind of find that niche that you really really like and right now I'm doing a little bit of everything because I'm trying to find out what I really 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 love and so far birth photography has been my favorite it's so amazing watching babies come into this world it really is um, I really love it um, and then of course newborns I obviously you know because I started this year I'm not the best photographer in the world but I do try and I feel like I'm actually not that bad um, if you ever want to check out my photography page, go to www.facebook.com backslash pieces of love photography. And you can check it out, see some of my work. If you live in Orlando and you want to book a session with me, just send me a message on there or you can email me at pieces of love photography at yahoo.com to set up a session. They're very reasonably priced and you know, maybe you'll get to meet me in person someday. That'd be fun. Um, next week, my friend Allie is actually coming to visit. So I'm going to have her kind of like guest star. And who knows what we'll talk about. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about that. So, you know, be prepared because we're probably going to be acting like crazy people. I'm assuming because we already act like that. Um... We have a lot of fun when we just talk on the phone or text and this and that. Um, you know, with her and I, we are very, I guess you can say, loyalty is very important to us. And I just want to say to all the girls that have been being very mean to her lately, you need to stop. It's not cool. Think about where your loyalty lies. Don't be two-faced. If somebody is your friend, they're your friend. Don't go talk to somebody that hates them when you don't even know that person. It's kind of mean. And Allie, I love you to death, so you know that's why I'm saying this. Because I want these people to stop. Because I'm getting really mad. I don't like bullying and I don't like when people are mean to people. I'm like one of the nicest people ever and well I take that back I'm really not that nice when I get upset but I try to be really nice and this last year I think that a few people brought out the worst in me and I never want to let that happen again because I don't ever want to stoop down to their level they said a lot of mean things about me so I said mean things about them so I'm actually going to take this time to apologize to the three girls you if you watch this you will know who I'm talk who you are um we had a falling couple falling outs um over honestly photography um and it's really kind of ironic some of the things that I've been seeing lately but you know um I just want to say that I'm sorry for calling you names and really it takes a lot to get me to call somebody names or anything like that or to get that angry. This is after me being bullied for you know through text messages for hours and then finally I hit a breaking point and I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna say what I have to say. So I'm not normally like that and I hope that a lot of you are not like that. I hope that you know 2016 uh, seriously 2016 this year I really am gonna focus on being a better person being a nicer person being a better mom being a better wife being a better friend just overall being better and like I said in the family video I'm really gonna focus on keeping my family together and I really want to rekindle the relationships that I've lost I lost last year um, if I can, um, you know, at this point, it's just kind of silly and it's like, let's just get over it. Let's move on. And, you know, let's kind of, you know, just live our lives and be happy again. Let's stop thinking about all the bad stuff that happened or any of this. 
I want to be a photographer, let me be a photographer, let me live my life, and that's it. Um, you know, I really want to rekindle those relationships because those were very important to me, and it really sucks that I lost those um, with the family, not the two girls that were friends of mine. I could really care less about that, but the family definitely. Um, but other than that, today, what did I do today? Nothing really. Um, I hung out with my son. We took him to McDonald's and let him run through the play place, which, ugh, those places are disgusting. I do not like taking him there, but he loves it. They're so dirty. Like, do you think that anybody ever cleans those? Seriously. Like, who gets in there and actually cleans it? I really don't think anybody does. I really, really don't. Because they always smell bad. They're sticky, and my son's feet and his hands were almost black. I actually got in there with him because, like I've said before, I'm a very small person. I got in there with him, and I felt so disgusting when I got out. I was like, I need to just, like, shower because I feel so gross. And thankfully, they had some sanitizing wipes, which I'm so surprised they actually had that. Um, it made me want to, like, clean the whole thing because I have, like, this really bad OCD where... Like, I can't handle germs or anything like that. I don't like really shaking people's hands. Um, I don't really like hugging people that I don't know. I know that's kind of weird, but it's just, like, I don't know what kind of germs are on them. I, like, hate being sick, so anytime I can prevent being sick, I try to do everything I can to prevent that. Um, I use essential oils all the time. Every single night we have our diffuser running with a bunch of different things so that way we can stay healthy and keep from getting sick, stuff like that. Um, if you don't use essential oils, I would definitely recommend it. They are a little bit pricey, but worth it because, you know, if a, say if one of the bottles is $30, you're only using one to two drops at a time, so it really lasts, you know, a long time. And it's just me, my husband, and my son that use them, so, you know, one bottle lasts us two months, so $15 a month for, like, a bottle of lavender. Um, cedarwood is really good for sleeping. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I'm just kind of talking about what what's on my mind. Usually right now is the time that I'm talking to my husband about all this random stuff, so you guys get to listen today. Yay! Um... Sorry, I'm sure you guys are probably bored, but whatever. I'm having fun, so that's all that matters, right? Um, so, also, I did a little makeup tutorial. It was, you know, obviously the videos on Instagram are only like 15 or 20 seconds, so I did two real quick videos just kind of while I was doing my makeup, if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I do want to film a full tutorial because I've had a lot of people asking me about my makeup. Um, I'm, I actually went to Aveda to do hair, makeup, all of that, you know, um, to do, to be a cosmetologist. Um, so I do know a lot about makeup. I just now started learning though about like, you know, contouring and highlighting and stuff like that. I know it's not perfect, but um, it's a lot of fun. And that's kind of, you know, every day I love doing that. I used to not really do my makeup every day, but since I've learned that and, you know, been, have been trying all these different things out, it's been a lot of fun. Yesterday, I bought a almost $300, or not $300, um, 300 palette eyeshadow, 300 eyeshadow palette. And it was like, take my money. Oh my gosh, there's so many colors. Please take my money. It was really cool. Um, I'm really about buying makeup on a budget. There are a few things that I do spend a little bit more money on. But other than that, I do buy a lot of stuff that's, you know, you can get at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, stuff like that. Um, because those makeups actually work just as good. I actually learned that in school. Um, you know, there are a few things, like I said, that work a little bit better, but really store-bought makeup works just as good. The eyeshadows, the eyeliner, 
the lipsticks, everything. The only reason all the other makeup things, you know, cost more money is just because it's like a specific company, like they have their own store. So of course they're going to charge more. But when you're spending, I don't even know how much a MAC lipstick lip a MAC lipstick is because I've never bought one because they're like probably like 30 or something dollars. Um, you can, there, if you go online, you can find like the color that's like the MAC lipstick and the equivalent in a store bought. And I guarantee you it'll work just as good and you're saving money and you can buy two or three of them for the price of one. Um, I do sometimes use the MAC Studio Fix um, pressed powder and foundation, but I actually just found this new, um, it's like a mousse foundation and it works really well. I'm really impressed with it. That's the one that I've been using for all these videos and it works really well. Um, and I haven't even really been using the MAC other than I've been using it a little bit like as a primer on my eyelids. Um, so yeah, try the store-bought stuff. Um, I know that in my first couple videos I was wearing my glasses, but I've noticed that, you know, there's a glare on them and you really can't see my makeup, so I've stopped wearing them for the videos. Um, so really, I can't really see. I'm just kidding, my eyes really aren't that bad. Um... I do love my glasses and I love the way I look at my glasses, but I don't want you guys to have to see a glare the entire time that I'm, you know, talking to you. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been wearing them. And let's see, I'm actually thinking for one of the next videos having a different background because I am a mommy blogger and I got eight free backdrops for my photography. So maybe I'll do like a different one every day just for fun. Um, you know, like I have some like aged wood, I have brick, I have one that has like different colored polka dots. Um, they're really cool. They're just paper and they look so real. I don't know how they'll look on video, but for photos they look real. Um, really real. Um, so we're almost to 20 minutes. I'm actually going to cut this video and I'm actually, I was really debating whether I was going to, talk about this topic or not but my next one that I'm going to film right after this I'm actually going to talk about my infertility um it's something that you know I was really hesitant about because I don't want to offend anyone by talking about it because it is a very hard subject but I actually was bullied about it a girl actually said to me says the woman who can't have kids and it really hurt my feelings so I kind of want to raise awareness to people about how hurtful things like that can be um, obviously I have my son and if I only am blessed with one child then you know I am so happy with that of course we would love to have more but if not then not so in the next video that I'm going to make, so I'm going to upload two today, I'm going to actually talk about that and it's going to be a little bit in depth. So it might be a little bit over 20 minutes. Um, and I hope that you guys, you know, like it, you don't get offended or anything like that. My stomach is growling because I'm hungry. After this, I'm definitely going to eat something. Um, so thank you all for listening to me babble today. Um, it seems like you guys really like the babbling videos, I don't know why, but um, I want to say thank you all for watching, thank you for the people who have been subscribing. Um, one of my videos I think has hit like 150 views, which really isn't that much when there's people who have like 2 million views, but it's kind of cool just seeing every day the amount of people that are watching more and more. Um, so thank you all for following and watching. Um, and remember to subscribe. I'm going to put my makeup Instagram down below and check it out. Um, I will be doing a tutorial soon. I just need to find my tripod so I can set that up because otherwise I'm not going to have good lighting in this room. This is my studio, my photography studio, and I just won't really have that great of lighting for doing my makeup. Um, actually, I might. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try it out and we'll see how it comes out. 
Um, so if you guys want to leave a comment below and let me know which look you would like to see, um, that would be great because then that way I can have an idea of what I should do and then you guys can all, you know, see how I do it and honestly it really doesn't take me that long. I would say maybe 20, like if I'm lagging, of course it's going to take me 30 minutes or something, but it really doesn't take me that long. It takes me maybe like 15 to 20 minutes to do my makeup and when I curl my hair, that takes me about 10 minutes. Um, so it really didn't take me that long to get ready. I know a lot of girls who take like hours to get ready and I never understood that. So that's going to be coming soon. Um, so please leave some comments below. I know you guys haven't been doing it. Leave me some comments. I would love to read them. I've had a few emails, but I would love to read some comments below. Also, I made an email for this instead of my other email. That way, um, I can keep it separate. The new email is talkwithk at yahoo.com. Remember, K-A-Y. So that way, if anybody wants to email me about a topic privately or anything like that, you can email me there. And it's also kind of the one for my makeup. So... Okay, sorry, it got cut out real quick. It's also the one for my makeup as well. So if you have any questions about makeup or anything like that or any of the products that I use, email me there. I'm going to wrap this up now. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you guys will watch the next video and it will help some of you who are in my situation, especially at my age or even if you're older or younger or anything like that. All right. Thank you all. Have a good night. Allie, you know I love you. That's why I said that. And I can't wait to see you next week. All right, BBF. Love you.